Here we have an RTX 3090 video card that was sent over to us because it's not detected. Let's read what the customer wrote. So the customer wrote, the card was stored in a PC for a long time. It was used for gaming for the past three years, not used for mining. Don't have much information otherwise. The card is not getting detected. One out of three fans are spinning. The rainbow LEDs are working at times. I mean, I like how that customer is very detailed, very optimistic and all that. When you see somebody explaining in details that that card has been in a system for three years, not used for mining, and uh, don't have much information otherwise, one out of three fans spinning, LED lights, he's trying to tell you it's an easy issue, it's an easy problem, and you look at the card and you see this. The core is missing, the memory chips are all missing, I don't know, is that customer in touch with reality? I mean, who is he kidding, right? Look at this. He either bought this video card from somebody who scammed him, or he picked up this card from the garbage can. I don't know. The GPU is missing. You see signs of liquid metal or solder or whatever that is. You have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven missing VRAM chips. You have knocked off components like you've never seen before. And he tells you the card was in a PC for the past three years. How can this be in a PC for the past three years? On what planet? I did post a video about why you should not buy used GPUs and we had a similar card with a missing core and missing memory chips and I told you anytime you are buying a video card you have to be careful make sure that you are buying the card from a trusted place from a place where you can send back in case of any issues like eBay they have a very good return policy especially for buyers Amazon sold and fulfilled by Amazon you can always send it back in case of issues and do not buy from marketplaces like OfferUp, Facebook, Craigslist, because you're gonna see that person one time. If the buyer, if the customer who sent this card, he bought it like this, which I don't think that he did because he mentioned that it's been in the system for the past three years. So he's either lying to me or maybe the person who sold it to him, he told him it's been in the system for three years. So whose fault is it? I'm not sure if it's the buyer's fault, the customer's fault, if in fact he bought that card, or if it's the seller's problem, fault. You as a buyer, you should do your homework. You cannot just buy a video card from somebody and expect it to work. We live in a jungle, I always mention it. We live in a jungle, trust no one. I know that guy, no you do not. When it comes to money, when it comes to selling stuff, they will screw you. You have some viewers from the last video where I talked about not buying a used GPU, they wrote, Alex is against buying used electronics. Who said anything about electronics? I'm talking about video cards in specific. And I did mention, I'm not against buying a used video card, but buy it from a place, from a trusted place. Do not buy it from marketplaces. And the video is labeled, do not buy used GPUs from marketplaces. I forgot what the title was, but you can look it up. You'll find it. But I did mention, when you buy a used video card, even if you test that card, even if you go to that person's home, or that person shows it to you working, it does not mean the card does not have issues. The card can artifact when you are playing a game. The card can cause the system, the computer to reboot under stress. The card can cause the computer to shut off because of a fault that you will not be able to see unless that card is stressed. The card may have been overclocked to death and they're selling you that card, 101 issues. So all I'm saying is when you want to buy a used card, make sure that you buy it from a trusted place so you do not buy a piece of junk like this that we cannot even use as a donor board. Now the customer is going to be surprised. 
because he's had that card for three years in a computer and not used for mining. Two fans are spinning and he does see LED lights. I don't know how, but that's what he said. We're not going to even test it or try it or plug it in or waste a second on this card. We're going to let the customer know. The customer will probably watch the video. Nothing personal. But I get mad. I get pissed off when the description does not match the card. Description, it looks like the card. Nothing is wrong with the card. Only a few minor things. And then you see something like this. And I get pissed off also at the customer not doing his homework. If the customer did buy this card, why didn't you do your homework? Why didn't you test the card? I blame you and not the seller. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it, or you probably did not. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.